Hi, today we've got another one of these battery testers to take a look at. This one is the Hingbolan BM500 and this is a little portable low cost car battery tester designed to give you a quick indication into the health of the battery that you're using in your vehicle. So it's available for about £20 from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description down below. So you just connect up the battery, making sure you make contact with both sides of the battery clamp. This is a bit easier with a car battery where you've got a cylindrical post, but you just connect it on firmly and make sure it is on properly. And then once the battery is hooked up, it will power up. It's solely powered from the battery that it's connected to, and you need to choose the correct battery voltage. In this case, it's a 12 volt battery, but you can see here it will also test 6 volt batteries for mopeds and that kind of thing as well as 24 volt batteries for trucks. So we've got 12 volt battery connectors, we just press OK on there. And then we need to pick the specified cold cranking amps for that battery. Uh, in this case, I think it's a fairly low capacity battery, so we'll pick something down towards the lower end. But this is the one that's normally printed on the front of the battery. Press OK and it will test against that specification. So it's actually detected this battery as 97 cold cranking amps saying that the battery is good. Now if we'd picked a 500 uh, amp cold cranking amp battery spec on that screen just there it would have probably said it was bad even though it's testing exactly the same battery. So it's given an indication against the spec that you put in before and then you can press up and down to scroll through the other things that it tested. So I've got the state of health 94% the state of charge, 98%, that's based on the battery voltage. Uh, and then the internal resistance of the battery, and it's detected this one is 26.8 milliohms. And it's also got the current voltage of the battery, 12.74 volts. So a very, very simple indication of the state of health of your battery and whether you might want to replace it or not. So if you're unsure and you're having a few problems starting your vehicle and that kind of thing, this is a very quick way to try and understand what's going on. This one unfortunately doesn't do any of the advanced features like um, looking at the battery voltage as you crank the car and that kind of thing. This is more just for testing the battery in isolation. So we'll just take it apart and have a look inside. The PCB is held in just by the action of clamping the two sides together. It's just held in with four screws at the back. And the case is fairly robust. It would certainly survive a domestic environment, but it's probably not designed for professional use. Um, and then we've got the rubber buttons here, pressing actual tactile switches on the PCB. We've got a LCD, which is just floating, connected with a flat flex connector, and we've got the lead for the backlight. And we've got the wires going off to the battery clamps. Now you'll notice there's actually four terminals here. That's because it does a proper four wire measurement on the battery. So, um, the wires are actually connected uh, one to one side of the clamp and one to the other side of the clamp. One is designed for the load, which is probably this large resistor here, which is presenting a load to the battery. Uh, and the other side is connected to the measurement system, probably uh, an op amp and then going into the ADC on this device up here. So it does a proper four wire measurement. Let's take a closer look at the PCB. So just looking quickly at the PCB, we've got the power coming in, first of all, to a DC to DC converter. The input capacitor is this 50 volt one here, and that's because um, we could be connecting to a 24 volt battery, which might have a voltage on it, maybe 27, 28 volts, which is a little bit high for any linear regulator to dissipate any heat, considering we've got things like the LED backlight and that kind of thing. So we've got a switching regulator here, dropping the voltage down to some lower voltage, and there's also an AMS1117 linear voltage regulator here to give us a 3.3 volt rail for our microcontroller. And this microcontroller is a little low cost Foshan Micro SWM181. And this one has importantly that 12 bit ADC, which I think is doing most of the work on this particular design. Obviously, it's also driving the LCD, and we've got backlight control as well. But that uh, ADC is providing most of the functionality in this unit. Uh, and then we've got um, the load resistor. So I think when it does the cold cranking amps measurement, uh, there is a specification. I think it's designed to pulse a load at about 125 uh, kilohertz. And this 11 ohm resistor is basically switched in and out at that frequency by this MOSFET at the bottom here. And it looks like they've got a little gate driver here to make sure that we can switch that on and off nice and quickly. Uh, and what it does is it measures the voltage on the battery 
when the load is present and when the load is removed and from that with a lookup table most likely in the microcontroller it can work out what the state of charge in the cold cranking amps for that particular battery is because um, it's quite a complex measurement to do and you need to know quite a lot about the battery so by you putting in that uh, spec 500 cold cranking amps or whatever it works out what type of battery it is and then presumably it looks it up from the lookup table to find out what the actual behavior of the battery really is and then bizarrely there's a device here which has the part number lasered off, but based on the arrangement of resistors and capacitors, this looks like a quad op amp, so I'm not even sure why they bothered to uh, laser that off. It's fairly obvious. You can sort of see the output and the inverting and non-inverting input with the arrangement of resistors and capacitors just makes sense. So that's all that's doing. Pretty straightforward, really. We've got a another MOSFET here just driving the LED backlight, uh, and that allows the microcontroller to turn it on and off. And that's it really. No communications or anything like that on this board. It's just simply measuring the battery and reporting back on its state of health. So that all seems to be in order. I've got some nice tactile switches. The LCD isn't uh, adhered to the board, but it is in fact held in place in the casework. There's a recess for it to sit on. So uh, it doesn't matter too much that... Uh, that hasn't been stuck in place, this will keep it located in the right position. So that's the King Bolin BM550 battery tester, a very simple and low cost device, ideal for the DIY just to keep in your tool bag or in the garage, especially if you have a slightly older car or something like that and you have a few troubles with the battery. So I'll put a link to this item in the description down below, hope you enjoyed the video, until next time, thanks for watching.